Hey everyone, today we're going to be introduced to the Zoom Meetings dashboard and learn how to navigate within it. Be sure to hit that like button if you benefit from this lesson. Subscribe to the channel for more content and smash that notification bell to get notified every time a new video drops. Let's get to it. A metallic blue globe is seen spinning in the center of the screen on a dark blue background. The words vision optional slide in each side. Below, braille letters appear one by one, spelling out vision optional. Introduction to the Zoom Meetings Dashboard. I will begin by moving focus to my Windows desktop by pressing the key combination Windows D, Delta. Windows D, folder view list view, recycle bin, one of 22. Next, I will use first letter navigation by pressing the letter Z until I hear Zoom. Z, Zoom, four of 22. I'll hit enter here. Enter, home tab check selected. Now you heard home tab selected. This means that I am indeed in my Zoom dashboard. However, you may have heard something different, and if that is the case, I want you to press the Tab key until you hear JAWS speak the following. Home tab check selected. To switch pages, press Control plus page down. Now, I separate the Zoom dashboard into three areas. The Tab area, the Search area, and the Account area. And we will look at these different areas in more detail as we progress through these lessons. But for now, it is important to learn how to navigate the tab area and jump between all three areas of the Zoom Meetings dashboard. So focus is on the Home tab. To make sure that that is the case, I want you to hit the key combination Insert Tab. This tells JAWS to speak the current item in focus. Home tab check selected. To switch pages, press Control plus page down. Next, I'm going to use directional navigation to move between the four main tabs in the dashboard. Up, down, left, and right arrow keys all work here. So I will move to the next tab by pressing the right arrow. Chat tab check selected. So we moved from the Home tab to the Chat tab. We'll press that arrow again. Meetings tab check selected. Meetings tab. One more time. Contacts tab check selected. Contacts tab. Now I'm going to press the right arrow key once more. Home tab check selected. Now you see that once we reach the end and we press that same arrow key, we wrap back around to the first tab in the list, which is the Home tab. Next, we're going to jump to the Search area by pressing the Tab key. Search Edit. Search Edit. Here we can type keywords, contacts, and file names to search for conversations, contacts, and files that we may have attached or others may have sent to us. We'll press tab again. Zoom, Christopher Idris Crawley, status, available, free account button dropdown. Now we are in the account area and we got a lot of information from JAWS here. It stated Christopher Idris Crawley, so I know that I am at my user account area. It also said status available. We can change that status later on but it is important to note that when you are in a live meeting in Zoom, it automatically sets your status to busy. Next, it said free account. If you up get upgrade to a different account, it will state that as well. For example, the next account up is the pro account. Lastly, it told us that there was a drop down menu, so we can access the drop down by simply pressing the down arrow. And again, we will look at this in more detail in the next lesson. Press tab once more. Settings button. Settings button. Now this button does not always appear. It typically only appears when the home tab is selected. And that's not an issue because if it is not there, we can still access the settings area by going to our user account. So this is just a brief introduction to the Zoom Meetings dashboard. The entire series is going to be working 
around this dashboard. So you might as well go grab your favorite beverage, maybe a snack and get comfortable because we will be here for a while. A page appears. Subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Anchor FM, and Twitter at Vision Optional. Vision Optional.